I think I miscalculated. <laughs> I look like the goddess of summer. My name is Silly and welcome back to the Little Reader's Corner. So today's video is a little bit of a reading vlog. So I finally managed to get my hands on the beautiful, the gorgeous, the magnificent UK hardcover of Kingdom of Copper by Esther Chakraborty. I've been waiting to read this for actually a year. Finally, I have it. Look how beautiful it is. This means that, I mean, as I said, it's been a year since I read City of Brass. Literally a year. Last year, I read it July 16th. Right now, it's July 11th, so <laughs> I'm rereading it. Look how far I am already. It's going very well. So, this book is about Nari. She lives in the Ottoman Empire around the 18th century um, and she lives in Cairo and she's a healer. She has kind of a gift with um, different kinds of healing abilities and she's also really adept at knowing languages. She doesn't know where she has come from or where her family is from. She just knows that her native tongue that she speaks, she cannot figure out where it is and no one knows what kind of language it is. So one day she goes a little too far with one of her healing cons and she accidentally summons a dark djinn. And basically this story is about her journey going to the city of Brass or Daevabad with this djinn to figure out her past and also some other things go on. So I'm rereading it. I love this book so damn much. Oh my goodness. I wanted to reread it because first off, I am feeling a little bit fuzzy about what exactly went on during the story, so rereading it is very helpful for me because I have the worst memory. But after just a couple of pages, I realized, oh my gosh, I was right. This book is fantastic. It is one of my favorites of all time, and I'm really excited to be rereading it. Look how fast I'm going. That is just what I read today. I re I'm reading through it really fast. I mean, I think mostly because it's not taking me that extra time to process what's going on because I've already read it before, but like the pacing and the flow of the story is just fantastic. So yeah, I'm going to be reading this book this week and then in a separate vlog, I will be starting Kingdom of Copper. And after I finish this bad boy, I will be reading Empire of Gold. I don't have my copy of the book yet, but I just ordered the UK hardcover. So I'm very excited to get that in the mail. Without further ado, enjoy my reread of City of Brass. <laughs> And it is a Sunday and today I'm going to try to make a flower crown. These flowers and some wire. Let's do this.
the right size this will be perfect and, you know like just looking at it you're like oh yeah great but then stuff and I haven't been reading that much the last couple days because school has been a lot. You would think I would have thought about how taking three classes in half the amount of time that they're usually scheduled for would be time consuming, stressful. I didn't think about that. But anyways, so it's now Friday. Congratulations to me for making it through the week. I just have one assignment that I have to do tomorrow. Besides for that, I'm free. I'm free. That means I can read. Yeehaw. So last Saturday, when most of these clips were from, 
I read 100 pages. It was wonderful. It was glorious. After that, I read 20 pages and then two more. And that was about the whole week. So basically, just talking about those first 100 pages. Hello? I just saw someone attractive. So those first 100 pages flew by. Oh my gosh, it was so fantastic. I love this book. I love it. It's great. I love it so much. And I think it was a really smart choice for me to reread the first one before going into the second one because there are so many smaller details that I'd forgotten. Honestly, I, I couldn't entirely remember what the plot was. Like, I remember generally, like, what happened, but I couldn't remember most of the events. I still don't because I'm only 130 pages in. So rereading this is vital. And those are currently all my thoughts. I am understanding more of the world second time through just because there's a lot of information about the different groups of daevas or jinn and kind of like the political society of all of that. So I'm understanding a lot more of that now, which is exciting. So let's read. So just sit with me, talking to the night and to the morning, building camp. Mystery, I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this but I think, I think We were meant to be You make me anxious Hello, it is Saturday it's already the afternoon. This morning was really productive. I was able to finish my essay, which was the last piece of homework I had to do before I could really enjoy my weekend. And then I read all of Tuck Everlasting, which is this month's book club pick for A Touch of Whimsy, which is a book club that Kayla from Kayla Abridged and Lexi from Alexander Roslin started together. And it's such a lovely book club. I've been really enjoying it. So for the entire thing, which, you know, isn't like too impressive. I, I get it. It's like 130 pages or something. But for me, that's pretty impressive. So I read All of Tuck Everlasting. I finished I'm Still Here by Austin Channing Brown, which if you have not read I'm Still Here, it's fantastic. It's about Austin's experience as a Black woman in America, as well as her story of activism and goes into anti-racism and talks about white fragility. And if you have not read it, you really need to check it out because it's just a phenomenally told story and it's just something really important that everyone should read. So check it out. I really recommend it. And I'm also currently baking a lemon turmeric tea cake, which is really exciting. You saw some footage of me earlier um, preparing it. It's currently in the oven. It only has like 20 or 30 minutes left to bake. And I also made some like fresh pressed orange lemon juice kind of stuff. I only had one orange and a little bit left of a lemon, so it's a little watered down, but you know, it's fine, we do what we gotta do. Oh, I love it. So I'm waiting for that to finish baking. I might film a bullet journaling video because I got this gorgeous, beautiful beauty that is just my entire soul in the mail actually um, two months ago. I mean, I, I purchased it two months ago. And I have been working on my new like 2020 halfway through the year spread to like start that one off. I also purchased some stickers from Sticky Club, which is like an online sticker store. So I have these stickers from them. You'll see them more in my bullet journal spread, but I'm currently trying to decide what kind of theme I want to do for my first month in my brand new bullet journal. I think I might be doing like a feminist looking thing or a matcha theme. I don't know. So that's exciting. That's basically just what my day's looking like. Think I might be stuck on you. I love the things you did, you did for me. For me, it seems that you're dropping clues. There's no need to rush, so let's just take Hello. So I'm doing some treat yourself day because this morning is this even running i can't tell my eye is so bad yes it is okay great this morning i cleaned the entire apartment 
it took about three or four hours <laughs> my back hurts but oh my gosh everything is clean again and i can finally breathe and then i had to run some errands because i ran out of cleaning supplies because i cleaned so much and your girl needs cleaning supplies I need them. <sighs> and then I dropped off some stuff at Goodwill, and apparently Goodwill is still taking donations, which is kind of weird, but I'm really hoping they're taking the necessary precautions to disinfect everything. But they took my donations, okay. So anyways, I um, decided to do a face mask because I want to relax. So <sighs> doing a face mask, a lavender face mask. I just showered and now I'm going to do some of this, I guess this Sleepy from Lush. I've had this for a long freaking time. Someone gave this to me like two years ago. And then some of this. And I'm going to talk to Jade, so. So I read about 40 pages of City of Brass this morning. It's going a little bit slower because there's a lot of world development going on. And I feel like I can't speed through it like some of the other sections because I need to remember the world building stuff. Like it's specifically talking about the different tribes of Daevas that are in the city and like the whole history of all of it. So I already forgot all of it before I was reading it. Now I remember it, <laughs> otherwise that would be bad. Ah! So I had forgotten it since last year. So this is very helpful and I know it's gonna be helpful for the next couple books, so going at a slower pace but still great. So I have started to read The Adventure Zone which is the graphic novel adaptation of a podcast where three brothers and their dad are playing D&D which is Dungeons and Dragons and you can hear their adventures on their podcast and these are their three main characters and then one of I think it was one of the sons decided to adapt it to a graphic novel. It was very exciting. Pat Rothfuss is the introduction to this thing and I mean Pat just writes a really great introduction and they're really excited about the book and the podcast and absolutely love it so I've heard a lot of great things about Adventure Zone not from people I know personally or actually booktube no one on booktube has talked about this but I've read a lot of really great reviews and it sounds fantastic so I'm excited to jump in I'm gonna start it right now. I got the first one and the second one because the second one was really discounted, which is really exciting. Usually I don't get the sequel before I read the first one, but I'm very hopeful that I will enjoy this. And I've been wanting to read a new graphic novel recently, so let's go. Never could have been thinking I would know what the future bring all the highs and lows said i'm gonna win though the world might spin now i'm sitting here like i'm no one it rains down on me all the phone calls i'm hello <laughs> this is happening so it's monday of a new week and i just checked none of my professors have updated the homework for this week yet even though it's already monday so I guess I'm just hanging out. So that means I have more time to read this beauty. Oh. So I didn't get as much reading done over the weekend as I planned to. I'm on page 150. So as you can tell, I have really lagged behind. But I did four hours of intense cleaning yesterday and oh my gosh, I feel so much better. <sighs> it feels really nice to be in a clean home. <sighs> so I'm gonna keep reading. I'm a mess just trying to guess my way through this Just don't get enough of me a quality DVD when it still has the Blockbuster Inc. trade in value from 2004. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This baby has seen some things. Hello. 
know it's Thursday and what a week it has been. I'm so tired, I want to freaking read my book that this vlog is all about. I'm so tired, I just want to nap. Did we know this was going to be basically a month long vlog? We didn't. But here we are. And we're just dealing with it. Look at my cute glasses, I love it so much. I just filmed my Draconophon TBR. You should watch it in case you haven't yet because this video is definitely going out after Draconophon TBR comes out because I'm still reading. I got to page about 200-ish in City of Brass. I feel like I haven't talked about City of Brass a lot on this City of Brass vlog. So let's talk about it. It has been such a joy to learn all about the character backgrounds and the history that goes on in this story because as I mentioned before, I forgot so much, but now like I know who the tribes are and I remember the history of Dara and why he's in this situation and I'm starting to remember things from the ending of City of Brass, which of course I won't give any spoilers away about any kind of major plot points or about the ending because I don't want you to be spoiled because it's an amazing book that you should read. Ah! Also, my copy, my UK hardcover of... Empire of Gold is coming in like maybe a week. I'm really excited about it. Yeah, otherwise, you know, you're here for the chaos, for the chaotic neutral energy. I'm hoping because honestly, at this point, how many minutes are we into this vlog? Who knows? Am I having an existential crisis? Maybe. Am I really freaking stressed and anxious because <laughs> undisclosed things? Does that mean I'm gonna get myself a large bowl of ramen? Yes. In other news, I did want to talk about some exciting other things that I'm bringing to my channel. So, I am going to start doing more reviews because I haven't reviewed a book or even done a wrap up for a long time. There are many reasons because of that, but I'm so behind and there's so many amazing books I want to talk about. Like I read Juliet Takes a Breath, which was phenomenal. One of my favorite books of all time currently. I haven't talked about it yet because I've been really stressed and anxious and been doing a lot of things, but I'm going to be bringing in those reviews. I'm not sure how I'm going to be bringing in those reviews. I kind of want to do monthly again, but... I just get really stressed about it, you know? So we're gonna figure out a thing that works for us. I don't know what that is yet, but we're working on it. Also, more talking about TV shows and movies. I'm currently making a master list of TV shows, of every TV show I'm currently watching, have not yet finished, have finished, and want to watch. It's gonna take some time to compile it, but afterwards we're gonna do some fun things with that list. I watched The Expanding Universe of Ashley Garcia yesterday. I watched both part one and part two. I watched the entire thing in one go because it was so damn good. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. If you have not watched it yet, it's wonderful. It's about Ashley Garcia and she is a genius. She graduated with a PhD, a two PhD, two doctorate degrees. This is of course fiction, but you know from MIT at 15 so she's been like really ambitious and pursuing her academic and like career goals ever since she was like nine years old when she graduated from high school in a weekend or something like that but also she's had to sacrifice like a lot of personal life social things like she didn't get to celebrate her quinceanera when she was 15 because she was you know arguing her doctoral thesis at university so it's just a really beautiful story about her like learning what it's like to be a teenager while she's also working on nasa's like mars rover and it's just really great and i love all the characters in it and i love stick who's one of the characters he's really great i mean luckily i started watching it right as part two came out which is basically like season two but luckily i started watching it like after that had just come out <laughs> but like the ending of season two or part two is such a cliffhanger, like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now for the next couple of months. It's gonna be so long until the next part comes out. It better be renewed because it is wonderful. 
go check it out. It's fantastic. That's mainly it. I'm gonna try to see what I'm watching tonight. So it's finally Friday. Yesterday was so busy. I had so much stuff to do for my classes. But today is a little more relaxed. This morning I started learning how to use a new editing software. I'm going to, I think I'm going to switch over to Final Cut Pro, which is a big deal. That's like the dream. So I'm currently testing it out, seeing how I like it, seeing if it's gonna be worth it for me. But it's very exciting. So I'm almost done with all my work for this week. It's really, it's happening. I just need to power through today. I think I might have to do more work tomorrow, but I'm at least gonna have all of Sunday off and it's gonna be great. And I'm gonna finally do some reading and it's gonna be wonderful. Worry way too much, got a policy. Did it bring me luck? Just the honesty. Now it's all on me. If I'm gonna win, oh, I'm just gonna get up. It rains down on me. All the fun. So I just spent at least seven hours today learning Final Cut Pro and editing my Draconathon TBR. My Draconathon TBR is 12 minutes long. The raw footage was barely 30. It took me seven hours. Oh, trying to find the, the, the fade in function it took me so long. Of course, it was so easy once I found it, but like, oh my god. Now, I've been staring at blue light since 8 a.m. this morning because I did homework before then, so like, I'm losing my eyes hurt luckily you can't tell right now but you can usually tell when i'm filming videos like my glasses have like blue light protector stuff on it so light just looks purple oh look at that but it's nine o'clock and i'm gonna start reading because i need to look at paper uh. well you know what they say there are no kingdoms without rulers today writing an essay and then the rest of it I spent editing videos and now here we are I am almost on page 300 of City of Brass which is <laughs> wild <sighs> it's it's going very well um I am finishing it in the next couple days that is an absolute guarantee because my Draconathon videos and vlogs will start happening in like a week and that's gonna be an entirely different TBR and I can't have two different vlogs going at the same time. I've tried that before and it's been disastrous so I am finishing in the next week or less we're gonna make it but before we get there <laughs> I'm going to watch The Kissing Booth, the first one but possibly also the second one tonight. We're gonna see how far I get. But it's like six o'clock now. I'm really tired. I just ate dinner. And I'm going to maybe get some cookies? I don't know. I'm so tired. <laughs> August, take me now. Okay, so I just went into Insomnia Cookies to get some cookies. I was going to get some online to order for a delivery, but the difference is, so it's a box of like either five or six cookies, I think it's six, for 
But if you order online, then all the fees and delivery costs are $6. And then like, plus all the taxes and everything, it's actually $19 for a $10 box of cookies. And I live like pretty close. So I was like, no, no, my Dutch ass is not going to spend $20 on a box of $10 cookies. No. So I got my cookies and I'm now going to go home and get ready to watch The Kissing Booth again. I watched it for the first time like a couple years ago when it first came out. I like watched it in the middle of the night when I was having a really bad day. And honestly, it's one of those kinds of movies that just like really, it really helped me. Like it's, it's stupid, cheesy, romantic kind of like, but it's, I like it. Queens every day. Trying to find your crown Happy camper through the ups and downs Keeping calm, winning ground Let's build castles now We'll make gold on our way up Through them trees before we reach them top but it's been like a week, a couple days since I talked to the vlog, since I vlogged anything. I think I maybe vlogged some bits of me watching a couple movies. I watched both Kissing Booth 1 and Kissing Booth 2 and then I started re-watching Umbrella Academy because it's one of my favorite TV shows. I actually watched it for the first time when I was in Austria on vacation last year. February, I think. I watched almost all of it in one day. I love it so much, so I'm re-watching it right now. I've been meaning to actually include it in a favorite TV show list that I'm going to be doing soon, so there's a little spoiler for that video. The second season of it comes out um in just a couple days, so I'm re-watching it to remember some stuff because I have the worst memory ever, in case you didn't know that from this vlog of me rereading a book that I love because I don't remember what happens. And speaking of City of Brass, so I have been reading it. You might not know that, but I've been reading it behind the scenes in my own vlog. Mostly because I'm really stressed and anxious right now because it's finals week for me, and so... I've just been doing so much homework and so much studying <sighs> and then like to relax I'm just getting a whole lot of takeout which is stressful but you know sometimes you just have to deal somehow so probably gonna get a creep after I film this clip. <laughs> um, but yeah to relax I've been watching Umbrella Academy and like rom-com movies and reading City of Brass so I'm actually nearing the end now. <laughs> For most of this vlog, I've been like around page 100, except for that one first day where I was like, oh. yeah, but I've been slowly and steady <laughs> making it through the book. I mean, obviously, I want this to be a spoiler free vlog because we don't like spoilers in this community. And I think I might actually do a review of the whole series once I finish it, but kind of wanted to do more low key vlogs before then. Overall, I'm weirdly impressed that a year later I still enjoy this book so much and like I can really appreciate the amount of world building and characterization and like the little like hints and symbols that happen at the beginning that are like kind of picked up later really appreciate that I mean the sexual tension that goes throughout this book we all knew it was there but like what a way to remember it mm, I love it I'm like literally I think two or three chapters from the end? I don't know, I have to check. I'm really close to the ending though, and the ending I think is one of the parts that I somehow vividly remember. Like, I I remember the emotional reaction that I have, and I remember like a couple things that like stuck in there, but I don't remember exactly like how it all comes about in those last chapters, so it's gonna be interesting reading those, especially because I don't know where Kingdom of Copper is going to pick up after I finish this, and 
Unfortunately, I'm not going to be reading Kingdom of Copper for at least another month because I'm already really behind on my July TBR. If you watched my TBR video and you're watching this vlog, you're like, Soleil, remember when you had all of those books that you were absolutely going to read? Well, I read most of the absolutely want to reads. I still haven't gotten to You Should See Me a Crown, which I'm just going to, I'm just, I'm squeezing into next month, even though I already released a TBR of me reading like a ton of dragon books. I'm still going to read You Should See Me in a Crown because I actually started it um, right before I left Maui in a different vlog, which you'll still see. I started it. I really loved it. I got really stressed. Story of my life. So, and then I just decided to start reading this book and realized that if I try to read something else, it just, it doesn't work. You saw at the beginning of this vlog when I tried to read something else while reading this book. I got distracted. It's just, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Wrapping up this one, and then I'm going to wrap up reading Adventure Zone, which I'm also really close to the ending. Love that book. And then hopefully finish up my TBR, because it's kind of the end of the month. And next month, if you haven't seen my Draconathon TBR, reading a whole lot of dragon books, very excited. And now I just heard there's an Avatar readathon. That sounds really cool. So I'll leave some information about that down below. But that one sounds fantastic. So of course, I want to join in on that one. I want to join it with too many things and I don't have the time or the mental capacity. <laughs> ah! So you'll probably see a couple more clips before this but this is basically the end of the vlog I'm thinking. On an entirely different note, like very different note, I think I'm gonna start a Sims gaming channel. I put a poll on my community tab and it seems pretty 50-50 last time I checked so no one really cares if I start a Sims gaming channel. No one no one gives a shit really but here's the thing i want to start one and i just want to play sims so i'm probably gonna start a sims gaming channel if y'all if y'all who are watching me here come to watch me there awesome fantastic cool if y'all really don't care and don't come and watch me fine do what you want to do no one's forcing you into anything you watch this video of your own accord so i don't know what to say there yeah, but I'm really tired and stressed and slowly falling apart with summer classes. Oh my goodness. After this, though, I'll be free. I'll be free. I'll just be in Draconathon for a month. Why do I do this to myself? I'm literally incapable of taking time off. It's truly phenomenal to watch. I don't, I don't know how it happens. Anyways, this clip has been super long. Thank you so much for watching. If, if you enjoyed this mess of my life, hit that like button. Let me know you enjoy seeing me as a chaotic neutral disaster. And if you want to see more of me being myself, hit that subscribe button because this is literally what you're signing up for. Leave a comment. Let me know how you're doing because, uh, you know, it's nice to know this isn't one-sided. You know, there's someone there. Maybe. Are you watching? I don't know. Anyways, you have a wonderful day. I hope there's some sunlight out there for you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!